Oh, what up? My bad. I just want to just see the waves are spinning. You know, they spinning, right? You know what I'm talking about? But listen, man, look, I know we all get tired of jobs, bro. I remember I hated jobs. I didn't like them. But you got to remember, you prayed for the job. Now you complained about it. Bruh. I was the same way too, though, I ain't gonna cap. But look, yeah, people be all in your business, in the break room, wanna know all your business. Your boss get on your nerves being irky all day. So look, with that being said, I'ma show you how you can quit your job with Forex. What you need to do to be able to do it, all right? But before I even get into that, you know I gotta give you a scripture today. Luke 6, 31. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. And that simply means just do right by people and they're gonna do right by you. And even if they don't, you still do right by them because karma is a what? You are already know all right so listen the very first thing you're gonna need is a plan slash goal all right you need to write out like a six month plan right you need to have a daily goal the best way to have a daily goal is find out what you make per hour at your job and try to make that in the market so for example if you make $15 an hour you need to make at least $120 per day in the market if you make $25 an hour, you will need to make at least $200 a day in the market to match your job income, and that way you'll be able to leave. That's exactly what I did. I was only making $9 an hour before I was able to leave, so it was a lot easier for me. $200 or $120 shouldn't be that hard to make per day in the market, especially if you wait on the setups, okay? The second thing you're gonna need to do is while you're at your job, you need to work on getting your credit better. Look, a job is not really that bad. The only problem is they pay you less than what you're worth, all right? You do a lot more work than what they pay you for, overwork and underpaid. So the way to combat that is to get your credit fixed, all right? I talk about this a lot. You want to get your credit fixed. The reason why is because you can leverage credit cards, all right? You can leverage the bank's money to be able to make your own money. Ideally, you want to become a bank. So you want to get multiple credit cards, multiple lines of credit, and you do not have to use them all. You only want to use a small portion of them and you want the rest of them to report on your credit report. That way, while you're still at your job, let's say you have a credit card that's $5,000, you're able to take $1,000 off that card, put it into the Forex market, make your $200, $200, dollars 200 day, whatever the case is. Uh, and then from there, you do that consistent enough, you'll be able to leave. Third thing you want to do is you want to work on building yourself a funded account. Now, why would you want to do that? Some people say, well, with a funded account, I got to go by the rules and this and that and the third. And that is true. But what that's going to allow you to do is protect your own money. See, we always want to play with other people's money, which is the bank's money or other platforms money. We never really want to use our own money. So that way our money sits pretty in the bank. With a funded account, you're able to have a bigger balance, which will allow you to be able to leverage your trades a whole lot better. So you have some funded accounts that you can sign up for 500 bucks. You could use that credit card that we talked about just a minute ago to fund that so it's not your money. You get your funded account, you pass the challenge, and you turn the $500 investment to a 100K account. From there, you can flip and make your $120, $200 a day, whatever is gonna allow you to be able to quit your job. The fourth thing you wanna do, and this could be anywhere in the order, you wanna have at least six months of living income. So while you're at your job, of course, like we talked about earlier, you got to create your plan and that's going to include how much you're going to save to be able to leave your job comfortably. A lot of the times, like I did, but I was only making $9 an hour, so it was a lot easier, but I just left for breath. I made a couple of hundred dollars in the market. I knew I was going to be able to kill it, so I left. Had no plan, no nothing, but the Lord was looking out for your boy. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, I was able to get up out of there. But for everybody, that's not going to be the case, especially in this day of high inflation and all this stuff going up. You're going to need to have a plan of at least six months in case something bad happens. You won't have to go back to work immediately. You'll be able to leverage, like I said, the credit side and things like that. You'll be able to use all these different tools to allow you not to have to go back to work. I believe this is the fifth thing that I'm on now. So the fifth thing is going to be one of the most important, which is multiple streams of income. Now, two jobs is not multiple streams of income. Two jobs are for two two people, not for one. Most of the time people get a second job and it doesn't even pay them for the first job. And then they're taking all their time and energy, putting it at another workplace. You don't want to do that. The whole goal is for you to be financially free from a job, period. So you don't want to get two jobs. That's a negative. You want to invest in other things. You want to use your God ideas and strategies, your God abilities. Everybody has them. You want to find out what that is and create an income 
out of that. Whether it's picking up photography, you can look up YouTube tutorials, picking up videography, picking up cutting hair, doing hair, whatever. Just pick up these different hobbies on the side that's gonna allow you to be able to create multiple streams of income. That way, if something does happen with Forex, you'll still be able to fall back on these things until you're able to get back in the mix. So the sixth thing that you wanna have is discipline guys you're gonna need discipline man because when you ain't when you ain't working for nobody else you're gonna have to get up on your own dime so you need to make sure you got that discipline to be able to get up at your own dime you know what i'm saying you can't be lazy you, you know look you got all this freedom you can go to the fridge whenever you want all that kind of stuff but you need to know you got to stay focused on the main goal which is staying self-employed you know what i'm saying discipline falls in on the charts too you got to know when to get in the trade when not to what days to trade this and that. I've told you guys before the best days to trade is Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays because Mondays and Fridays are usually trap days and they usually trap traders. So you want to have that discipline and only trade on those days. Not saying that you can't make money on Monday and Friday, trade that at your own risk, but just showing what's proven to work. The seventh thing that you're going to need if you want to be able to quit your job with Forex is you're going to need a schedule. You should be getting up at the same time every day. Your body should be programmed to get up at the same time every single day. I wake up around four to five every single morning. I have a whole schedule routine of things that I do and you need to have the same thing because when you work for yourself, nobody's there to just wake you up every single time. You're gonna have to do it. The reason why you wanna wake up so early is because you wanna start before everybody else. While everybody else is asleep, you wanna be working. By the time they wake up, you're already done, made your profit for the day, you chilling. Whole day, you can do whatever else you want to. But until then, you gotta make sure that you have a consistent schedule. And last but not least, number eight, you're going to have to know money management, all right? You're gonna have to know the proper lot sizes. You're gonna have to know the proper leverage. These things make a world of difference because if you're depending on Forex by itself, uh, which I know a lot of you are trying to do, you're gonna have to have money management because if you blow that, you're gonna have to go back to work and we don't want that, all right? so. The best way to do this is open a demo account and fund that demo account with the amount that you're gonna put in there of your real money. Fund that exactly the same way. Use the lot size. Once you place the trade, look at the free margin. If you only have a little bit of free margin left, then you know that lot size is way too big for the account. If your free margin is a lot smaller, then you know you're at on the right track as far as margin goes. Now, money management also comes into play when you're making more money. So as you start making more money in these markets, statistics always show that people who make more money usually spend more money. So you wanna combat that and not spend as much money. It's okay to be cheap. It's okay to shop at Ross and TJ Maxx and Walmart whatever amazon however you find your clothes it's okay to do that okay occasionally of course splurge but at the beginning when you're just now starting out you don't got to be like everybody else on instagram your time will come as you start to grow accounts bigger and bigger but starting out it's okay to just still go cheap on your stuff it's all right you know what i'm saying everybody ain't supposed to be balling like that no way you know what i'm saying so definitely learn how to manage your money learn how to save it uh, invest some, save some, little bit by little bit, you know what I'm saying? And you should be fine. You'll be able to stay out your job. You won't have to go back and it's lit. You can hit me up. We're going to go on a trip. We're going to come see you. You know what I'm saying? We can do all that. We can kick it because we all free and that's the whole goal, man. So hopefully this video has helped you, man. I love y'all. Lord willing, I'll be able to see y'all another video. But real quick, before I go, my wife does have a YouTube channel. Finally, she over there doing her thing. You get to see a lot of behind the scenes of our life on her channel her life as well a lot of things mainly the women y'all can go over there you know what i'm saying the brothers on there i'm trying to look at my wife and all that you know what i'm saying don't y'all be doing that you know what i'm talking about nah but look uh i love it man uh hopefully i'll see you guys in another video peace god's timing is perfect patience has a purpose waiting for it's worth it right on time when we lay to the